Hello everyone and today I will be showing you how to increase the security of your WordPress website and we will be using a plugin called All-in-One Security All-in-One WordPress Security and Firewall but before that you have to make sure you install it this way or even if you have not installed it in this way it's okay you can change it later on but you can see how it set uh, you can just set, set up your uh, WordPress version I would suggest latest one and then selecting whichever your uh, domain is and site name this one doesn't matter but this section is what we are looking at for example it says admin username and default it's always been admin and the password is pass you obviously have to change this but even if you make a good password by clicking here you have to make sure to change this because what the brute force attackers do is they will use admin as the default uh, username and they will try every single password which is uh, available the every single password combination by using admin as the default username and this is how i lost my first ever site that way uh, the hackers or the virus was injected the trojan virus was injected in my website which uh, dropped the ranking of my website in google pretty low and they didn't even show it in the search engine so i had to fix that because i was careless and use admin as my username so make sure you like the best thing i like to do is uh, click here copy this thing here and then just remove the symbols and then change this thing so now you have two different admin and admin passwords but if you want you can just type anything you want but uh, make it like stronger by adding numbers and stuff and then the password you can just click here to make it good but make sure you should you that uh, sorry <laughs> so make sure you don't type admin you don't type test you don't type the, your site name for example it has it is dm graphics so if i type dm graphics here they will also try this uh, username so make sure it's it has nothing to do with your WordPress website when using a username. The next thing is by just installing the WordPress. Once it's done, you just go to its dashboard. And I've already created a WordPress website. It's a default website with nothing special, only demo content. You can see it here. So for that, you have to go into its dashboard. So let's say I'll go in dashboard here. Go to plugins, click add new and here type all in, all in one. And for this one, you have to like search all in one WordPress you can firewall by these guys and make sure you s install the correct one by tips and tricks HQ. Once it's installed, wait for it. Click activate. Once it's activated, you can see a new tab is open here. Go to its dashboard. You can see the strength is pretty low. So the first thing I'll do is go to user accounts. And then like I said, uh, I set up an account login name as admin. So you can see that it shows that, it shows that the default admin is the username and you can change it or you can use the following field to change the admin username so let's say if you have already used uh, admin username so you can click here and type anything for example i'll just type this thing and then click change username and now it's username and i have logged out from it so let's log in once you're logged in or in your like this page just log in and let's uh, also make sure to keep a backup before doing that thing uh, that is changing the admin one next thing we will do is go to user login now here it is the enable login lockdown so make sure to click this and then these settings will be applied once you logged in so you can add unlock request so let's say someone gets locked uh, locked down because they entered wrong password they can request you to unlock them you can uh, choose the login attempts so if someone adds the wrong password 
three times it will like lock them out then after you can set the retry period which is if for five minutes after logging uh, for three minutes after logging in for three times and they still fail it then they will have to wait five minutes before trying again and this is the lockout which is like uh, if you set a particular IP address which will be try which will be locked out if it keeps on trying again and again then you can like uh, display a generic error message so I think you should take this up and then instantly locked out invalid username make sure to click this type admin press enter press test and then as my site's name is theme test or whatever your site's name is let's say your site's name is uh, like all in one security let's say all in one security dot com if your site's name is that you will just write your domain name so for me it's dm motion arts so i will write that so if someone tries to use this uh, usernames to like try hacking it it will instantly lock it lock out them for like 60 minutes and then you can like uh, you can like check this if you want to receive info if someone has been locked out so let's save it once that done let's go to user registration in uh, in user registration you can choose to manually approve new registration so if someone tries to register it will give them a notification saying that admin will soon try to check your account and then enable it so you can check it if you want and then it will show here all the approved registered users let's see database security uh, i've never done this so i'm not going to show what it is file system security i'm not sure backlist manager you can like use and enable ip to like remove it or user agents that is user names you can blacklist them by adding them let's add firewall so you can add a basic firewall and i think it's okay to add this so if you are 10 mb max upload file size so if you have a website which takes some files images or anything it will take 10 mb only about not uh, about 10 mb will not be allowed and check this out uh, i'm not sure about this thing so let's leave it then brute force is important because like i said uh, the the way my site was hacked was by brute force attack brute force attacks is that they try every single uh, combination of your password so to make it best or uh, to make it best we like change it from admin and test or your website name to a better username but there's another thing which makes it easily susceptible or like easily uh, foundable for the what you call the hackers and that is that every WordPress site can be used or like accessed by click typing WP admin behind that. So you can see how it is. If I just type WP admin, it just shows if I've been locked out, it will show. So let's say I just added it here. You see how it shows the username and login for just by adding WP login behind the domain name so we are going to remove it so for that we will like make sure to check this and add a random name so let's say i just type ocean i would suggest not typing ocean just typing random things but for the sake being for the sake of this video i'll just type ocean and then save it now to log in this site you will always need to use now let's see if I type stream and then click WP admin it will show not available which will improve your site security but if I type slash ocean it will show the uh, login options so this one is a really important feature so make sure to enable this one and the spam prevention you can enable captcha on comment forms I would suggest doing this just save it scanner is for checking any virus or anything maintenance is just uh, it will show your site is currently not available 
if you're doing any changes or something and then there's copy protection so if i just start a copy protection let's go to our site now you can see i can do the right clicks and stuff but i cannot do right click because i have not been logged in as admin only admin can do it i cannot select it because copy protection is on and that's all you can see right click and copy options on the front end of your site it's possible to like uh, check the file size by pressing f12 and stuff but usually it would not be possible for someone normal who don't know but not, not normal but not professional or something who doesn't have any knowledge of website development they cannot select or copy your content making it really good for you and that's all we have so make sure to use not admin and not using your site name not using test as your uh, admin username make sure to make sure to like limit your lockdowns so for this one and adding this one as uh, the lock by locking out this username and then if for user registration you can just do it this is not much uh, needed it is up to you then make sure to enable the brute force by checking the site this thing make sure to enable the spam protection and that's all you will need to make it a pretty good website security but it will always be susceptible to uh, like hackers or anything even if you add best security they will always be a good hackers who will try to come in so make sure to keep backups every time you can use updat updraft plus plugin to automatically backup it every week in your google drive google drive yes and something like that and if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and like share it for your other web development friends or like not web development but someone who needs to know this thing and if you want to buy anything from like hosting or web related and i have a link in the description for it I would suggest buying it from it. It helps me by giving me affiliate price. As those are my affiliate links, I get a small commission and you are not paying anything extra or anything. It's just same what you will pay for without that link. Just it would help me as I don't make any money from YouTube or anything. So yeah, thank you and share it, like it. Thanks.